Mark's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 29 onwards, we find Jesus going to the house of mother-in-law Peter. And then, and then, so many people came. He came and healed mother-in-law. The, when the news heard that Jesus healed the mother-in-law of Peter and the lady was with a high fever, she got up and began to serve. News spread like a fire. Everybody, whole night people were coming. It's a small town, small village. I think everybody got healed. And she was exhausted. <sighs> And the disciples got exhausted before that. They went to sleep. Small house, you know, village, whatever place possible, they go and sleep. When sleep comes, you can't. So Jesus also at the end went to sleep. And then, night, night, the news went to another villages. Next village, Jesus has come. One savior has come. A healer has come. And my sickness gone. My sickness gone. The, my tamudu. My brother, you come. My sister, you come. My auntie, you come. You, my mother, you come. So from all the villages, early morning, people are coming to the house of mother-in-law of Peter. Mother-in-law, what she will do? She went and walked up son-in-law. Uh, my dear son-in-law, Peter, get up. Get up. So many people are coming. I have to make nice coffee for them all. Uh, so get up as early as possible. The house of mother-in-law was filled with all kinds of people because the previous day Jesus came and healed the mother-in-law and the news went away and so many people have come. Jesus healed all of them and it became night. Everybody went to sleep. Jesus also went to sleep. <laughs> the next day morning all the people are standing in front of the house of Mother-in-law of Peter. Peter caught up. He woke up other disciples. They are going around searching for Jesus. Mark chapter 1 verse 35 says, read, read. Before daybreak. Before daybreak. Look, 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 go, go slow. Before daybreak. He goes to sleep towards the end. He is the last to follow to go to sleep. And before the dawn, I mean, he may have slept, maybe went to bed 1 o'clock and maybe now it is 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock at the most. Before dawn means after 5 it gets dawn. So hardly 4 hours he slept. His body is pulling him to sleep. But if your soul, if your mind is not hungering for God, your body will pull you down. <coughs> That's why we say in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verse 15 says, chapter 9, verse 15, this body, if it is not fed with the spirit, it will be pulled to the mud. If this body is not trained to give itself to God, it will be pulled down to the dirt of this world, to the dirt of this mud. Why many servants of God become like a mad? Once upon a time, they were all praying people. Today, they have fallen into all kinds of dirty things. Why? Because they don't understand the reality of life. If you don't train your mind and fix it on the Lord, if you don't make your life a life of personal encounter with God, personal fellowship with God, because your work, Satan will tell you worship. Work can never be worship. Many people in the name of work, they have lost the anointing. John 15, 5, he said, I am the wine. You are my branches. 
if you are in me you will have all the top mind for you you will have my energy my water my life my fruits and without me you can do nothing it's not because you don't have people to appreciate in the world you perish it's because you don't understand the reality of life what is the reality of life in a field if you don't plant the weeds automatically will come in a room the moment light is off without your permission darkness will come light means keep your field with the plant that produces light means make it sure your whole focus is how can you keep the light always with you that is the goal of life that is the call of life if you don't focus on light darkness will be part of you life is to be in the hands of god and allow god to fulfill his purpose in my life life is to be in the hands of god if you are not in the hands of god you will be in the hands of the enemy there is no other way so you got to look for it you got to strive for it you got to make your life this is what my life if you don't focus on that if you don't move on that that's why those days earlier days they get up early morning and they pray to god they praise us sing praises to god they will not say no 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 they sing loud so morning prayer evening prayer encountering god personal prayer he is the secret of the success of a christian life this personal prayer personal encounter with god that's why we read in the book of genesis chapter 5 it says not that not that enoch did not have work the bible says enoch verse 7 onwards enoch said lived 807 years and had sons and daughters so all the days of seth were nine 912 years enoch was nine lived 90 years and begot kenan after he got kenan he got enos lived 800 years and so on he so all the days of enoch were 905 years and he walked with god read again once again verse 22 or 21 onwards enoch lived 65 years and begot methusla after he bought methusla enoch walked with god 300 years when he was 65 he gave birth to a man a son then 300 years he walked with god there is a time to be with his family there is a time to be with the god he walked with god the bible says he is a family man he had time for his family but he never realized he never gave never forgot the truth that he has to have find a time for his god so enoch walked with the god walked with the god the more you train yourself to be alone with your god is the strength that you earn for your life is the richness you earn for your priesthood or your holy life or a christian life if you don't build up your personal life you are gone nobody will give you you have to learn to move that hunger has to come from within you that personal life 